Jesus. Turn with me to the gospel according to John. Gospel according to John, the 20th chapter. John chapter 20, beginning at verse 1. We're going to read 1 through 16. I'm not going to preach all of that. You're going to have to read it at home. Amen. Amen. More than I give you. Amen. Amen. It reads in the New International Version of the Bible that early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the entrance. So she came running to Simon Peter and the other disciples. The one Jesus loved and said, they have taken the Lord out of the tomb. And we don't know where they have put him. And so Peter and the other disciples uh, started for the tomb. Both were running. But the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent over and looked in at the strips of linen lying there but he did not go in. Mm -hmm. and then Simon Peter, who was behind him, arrived and went into the tomb. He saw the strips of the linen lying there as well as the burial cloth that had been around Jesus' head. Mm -hmm. The cloth was folded up by itself, separate from the linen. Mm -hmm. Finally, the other disciple who had reached the tomb first also went inside. He saw and believed. They still did not understand from Scripture that Jesus had to rise from the dead. Yes. Then the disciples went back to their homes. Yeah. But Mary, Mary stood outside the tomb crying. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb. Mm -hmm. Saw two angels in white seated where Jesus' body had been, one at the head and the other at the foot. They asked her, Woman, why are you crying? They have taken my Lord away, she said, and I don't know where they have put him. At this, she turned around and she saw Jesus standing there, but she did not realize that it was Jesus. Woman, he said, why are you crying? Who is it you are looking for? Thinking he was the gardener, she said, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have put him, and I will get him. Jesus said to her, Mary, she turned toward him and cried out in Aramaic, Rabboni, which means teacher. Amen. I want to use as my subject this morning. Don't give up on Jesus. Yes. Don't give up on Jesus. Let us pray. Gracious Father, here we are one more time. Seeking, O oh gracious God, your presence, your power, and your preacher. Send the preacher, Lord, we pray, that we might hear from you. Simply use me, God, as a vessel through which he might speak. Move me and use me, I pray, to your glory. Speak, Lord, that we might hear, that you might be glorified, and that your church might be edified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Don't give up on Jesus. Has anybody here had a rough week? Amen. 
Uh, I mean, a real rough week. Where, where it seems like all we got day after day was nothing but bad news. It was a rough week for me. Nothing but bad news. And for me, it started uh, when I was sitting there at my breakfast table and Man, I tell you, that, that internet man can, can depress you. <laughs> and I ran across a video where two Chicago police dragged this young yeah. high school student down a flight of stairs, mm -hmm. being abused. Ooh. That depressed me. Yeah. But what brought me to tears mm -hmm. was when I read that the father was standing there mm. and did nothing mm. and said he was powerless to help his child. Mm. No, sir. No, sir. That, that broke my heart now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I knew that had it been me, mm -hmm. come on now, come on. Be real. I'd have been shot, I'd have been beat, I'd have been arrested. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna stand there just because you got a uniform. Amen, amen. And let you beat on my child. No, sir. No, sir. Mm. Bad news. Mm -hmm. Jesus. It kept on coming. Mm -hmm. We continued to hear about the man that threw a five-year-old boy yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. off a balcony mm -hmm. at the Mall of America wow. mm -hmm. on Monday. Mm -hmm. The iconic cathedral, Notre Dame, mm -hmm. in Paris went up yeah. in flames. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was later reported that some 60 medical professionals mm -hmm. in seven states, doctors, Nurses, nurse practitioners, dentists were indicted for illegally prescribing mm -hmm. painkillers. Mm -hmm. Over 32 million pills, mm -hmm. oxycodone, hydrocodone, mm -hmm. fentanyl patches mm -hmm. for yes, sex mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and money. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, goodness. On Thursday, we heard our Attorney General mm -hmm. whitewash mm -hmm. the Mueller report. Yeah. And exonerate our president mm -hmm. from obstructing justice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Friday, a video was released <coughs> where two police officers uh, in Tamarack, Tamarack Florida, mm -hmm. was brutalizing a 15 year old high school student in a McDonald's parking lot. Mm -hmm. Pepper spray, mm -hmm. then beat his head twice mm -hmm. on the cement, mm -hmm. and then he punched him. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Then he cuffed him. Mm -hmm. Bad news. Mm -hmm. A little closer to home, we got word of the homegoing service for Reverend Wallace's brother Mace. Mm -hmm. Homegoing service for Sharon and, and Sheila's brother Troy. Mm -hmm. uh, the communal service for Deborah's husband, uh, Carmen's dad, Alex. Mm -hmm. It's been a week. Bad news. Mm -hmm. And just this morning, we read where over 200 people were killed that were in churches and in hotels in Sri Lanka yeah. on Resurrection Sunday morning. Over 600 injured. It's been nothing but bad news. Well, today's text tells us about a sister, Mary Magdalene, who knows something about a week of bad news. She had to deal with issues of abandonment, mm -hmm. death, and disappointment. Yeah. She had some anger issues she had to deal with, and some issues of apathy, mm -hmm. betrayal, and grief. Mm -hmm. She had to wrestle with some church hurt mm -hmm. and some church abuse. Mm -hmm. Mary had a rough week. Y'all yeah. Yeah. remember Mary, don't you? Yeah, yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mary was the one that possessed seven demons. Mm -hmm. And Jesus touched her one day and released her of her torment. And because Jesus blessed her, 
she became one of his disciples. Amen. I'm sure there got to be a Mary or two in the house this morning. Come on, does anybody here share Mary's story? Is anyone here a disciple of Jesus because one day he touched you and released you from your demons? Anybody here been talking about demons? Demons of drugs. Sex demons. Demons of self-doubt. Demons of low esteem, demons of sickness, yeah. demons of the, has God released anybody yeah. Yeah. from some yeah. gambling demons, some lying demons, yeah. those thieving demons, yeah. those drinking demons, yeah. those conniving, yeah. anybody yeah. been released? Yeah. Come on, yeah. Come on yeah. You ought to bless God thank this morning. Yeah. You ought to give God some prayer. You ought to thank yeah. him. Yeah. And you ought to bless him. Yeah. You ought to love him. You ought to tell somebody if it had not Fixed me. Yes, he did. He released me. Yes, he did. Fixed my mind. Uh -huh. yes. Changed my heart. Yes. Restored my soul. Yes. Renewed a right spirit yes. within me. Yes. My God. Yes. This Mary was also thankful. Yes. But now in this text, uh -huh. she is experiencing a rough week. Yeah. It started out good. Yeah. But her Savior Jesus uh -huh. rode into Jerusalem on the back of a donkey. Uh -huh. And people began to shout and, and to praise him and, yeah. and to throw palm branches yeah. at his feet. Yeah. But before long, the week took a turn for the worse. Uh -huh. They arrested her Lord. Yeah. It took a turn, I say. Yeah. When she learned that uh, her Jesus had been betrayed by a kiss uh -huh. by their mutual friend Judas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She had a rough week mm -hmm. when it was reported that the men of the ministry, uh -huh. the leaders, yeah. the disciples ran and abandoned her savior right. when he was arrested in the garden of Gethsemane. Come on, come on, come on. It was rough yeah. for her to hear how her church called one of those undercover meetings uh -huh. off the radar meet where the priests and the church leaders, the Pharisees, mocked Jesus, yeah. falsely accused him, yeah. slapped him and spat in his face, uh -huh. condemned him and sent him to their oppressors. It was a week. I said that was full of church hurt. Yeah. Anybody ever experienced some church yeah. hurt? Yeah. It hurt Mary yeah. to learn that Peter, oh, a trusted leader, uh -huh. one who was in Jesus' inner circle, was sitting there warm in his hands yeah. in the enemy's camp. When Jesus was arrested, That's right. her heart was broken. Yeah. Uh -huh. When she heard how just a little while later, Peter did not even know in Jesus yeah. Yeah. three times yeah. just to save his ashy skin. It yeah. crushed her yeah. to hear that the crowd who shouted Hosanna on last Sunday yeah. as he rode into Jerusalem was uh -huh. crying, yeah. crucify him yeah. now on this Friday morning. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It was a rough week yes. because this Mary mm -hmm. was there with Mary, yeah. mm -hmm. the mother of Jesus, yeah. at the foot of the cross, mm -hmm. looking at him bleeding from his temples yeah. because of the crown of thorns that had been beaten mm -hmm. upon his head, bleeding from his back, yeah. where the lash of the whip tore away his skin. It was rough looking at his healing hands and his beautiful feet that were now bloodied by the nails yes. and the spikes yes. that broke them. Yes. It was hard yes. consoling his mother yes. for saw her son being mocked uh -huh. and criticized yes. and crucified. Uh -huh. It was a rough week yes. for Mary. Yes. For she saw her Savior executed mm -hmm. like a common criminal mm -hmm. between two things. Yes, yes, yes. But what I like about Mary mm -hmm. in this text mm -hmm. and what she teaches me yeah. is that despite mm -hmm. her problems, uh -huh. mm -hmm. in spite of her pain, mm -hmm. regardless of her loss and her grief, yeah. Mary stayed focused right. on Jesus. Yes. Right. Mary had come to understand uh -huh. 
that no matter how trying your week might be, no matter how dark your situation might appear, when it looks like all hope is gone, and it doesn't even seem that Jesus can help you, if you just stay focused, don't give up on Jesus. Jesus will appear unto you. And that's the good news of Resurrection Sunday morning. Yes, yes. Jesus lives. Yes, yes. It might look like he's gone. The world is gone crazy. Yes, yes. But Jesus lives. Yes, yes. It might appear that he can't be found. But Jesus lives. Yes, yes. And he's still working that's on right. our behalf. Yes. No matter how dark the days. Yes. No matter how long the nights. Yes. No matter how deep the hurt. Yes. No matter how bad the news. Yes. Jesus in this season yes. is resurrected. All you got to do is be like Mary. Yes. Have a laser-like focus. Yes. And don't give up on Jesus. Yes. Jesus will manifest himself yes. and handle your situation. Yes. 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 That's the message for the morning, y'all don't hear that. Yes. Amen. But if you give me another moment, Come on, another moment, I'll tell you how you can maintain this focus. Amen. And look for Jesus in the midst of bad news. Amen. The text says that early on Sunday morning, while it was still dark, yeah. Mary came to the tomb and saw that the stone at the entrance of the tomb had been rolled away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She believed that grave robbers uh -huh. had stolen Jesus' body and had taken him away. Mm -hmm. More bad news. Yeah. She ran to where the disciples were Come on. and told Peter and John about her discovery. Yeah. Peter and John ran to the tomb to see for themselves. Uh -huh. And when they got there yeah. and saw that the tomb was empty except for the grave clothes that Jesus wore, they went back yeah. to where they were. Uh -huh. Went back to doing what they were doing. Uh -huh. It is so typical yeah. that when we are hurt and dealing with bad news, to resort back to what we were doing rather than step up, look up, and see God. Right. When we are bombarded with bad news, it's easier for us to cry about rather than cry unto the Lord of our salvation. Verse 10 says Peter and John went back home. They went back to what they were doing, but Mary stayed at the tomb. Verse 11 says, now Mary stood mm -hmm. outside the tomb, yeah. crying. Yeah. That's your first point. Uh -huh. When bad news is at its zenith, yeah. and you can't find Jesus, Come on. just backtrack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go back to where you last encountered him, uh -huh. mm -hmm, and just stand there. That's right. Okay. That's right. I, I think I might have told you all some time ago <laughs> about when I lost a very precious ring. Amen. Y'all know the ring? Mm -hmm. My classroom. Class <laughs> you know the ring I got when I graduated mm -hmm. from the Sam DeWitt property. I lost my ring. <laughs> and after looking and looking and looking, I, I remember that on yesterday, yes. I had that ring. When I went to the car wash, uh -huh. see, and, and, and I and I got I've got a habit uh, in the car. If I use some of that sanitizer and wash yeah, my yeah, hands yeah, yeah. and put on lotion, yeah, I'll take the ring off really. and I'll lay it in the cup holder. Come on, so then. I said, you know, maybe, maybe, mm -hmm. maybe I left it in the cup holder at the car wash yesterday, and they found it and just forgot to tell me. Right. So, 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 so I went back to the car wash, yeah, yeah, yeah. and, I, and I talked to the man. I said, look, I, uh, I believe I, I, I might have left my ring in my car yesterday. I can't find it. Could you check and see if anybody had it? Mm -hmm. And he checked. He said, no, nobody had it. He said, but I'll tell you what I'll do. Mm -hmm. He said, I'll, 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 I'll run the tape, the security Come on, tape. Come on, and, and, and if I see where somebody uh, might have picked it up, I'll, I'll call you and let you know. Uh -huh. I said, well, thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And sure enough, he checked the tape, mm -hmm. and he called me, yeah. and, and he said, Mr. Mitchell, uh -huh. he said, I, I checked this tape, and, and, and I discovered 
that you had the ring on while you were waiting for the car to be washed. Mm -hmm. He said, while you was in the lounge, he said, you was working on your computer. Uh -huh. He said, and the ring was on your hand. Come on now. Come on now. I said, well, thank you, sir. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> that gave me hope. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Because I knew I just went straight home from the car wash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that meant my ring had to be home. That's right. That's right. That gave me hope. I backtracked home. I, I started looking again at home, looking for that ring. Didn't find it right away. Uh-huh. But a couple weeks later. Yeah, 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 yeah. While I was standing there washing my face. <laughs> not something over. Sunday school. Mm -hmm. 
and for you, Jesus might become hard to find. Uh -huh. yes. Amen, Amen. Amen. But it ain't over. No, it's not. Just backtrack yeah. to the old landmark. Uh -huh. And like Mary, just stand there. Yeah. The disciples went back to their home, but Mary went back to the tomb, <laughs> stood outside the tomb, crying. And as she wept, uh -huh. as she wept, yeah. she bent over and looked into the tomb. Yeah. And when I read that part of the text, I was reminded that when we backtrack, when we go back to the old landmark, mm -hmm. we go back just as we are. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. The weight that we've been carrying is still on our yeah. shoulders. Yeah. But that's all right. Backtrack. And look for him through your tear-stained eyes. Come on, come on. That's the second point. Look for him yeah. through your tear-stained eyes. Yeah. The circumstances that filled Mary's hellacious week yeah. had not changed. Yeah. Yeah. Betrayal was still betrayal. Yeah. The church hurt had not gone away. Uh -huh. The disciples were still in denial. Yeah. And as far as she was concerned, Jesus was still dead and his body was still missing. Uh -huh. And all I'm saying, church, is that when you backtrack, uh -huh. when you make up your mind to go back to where you last saw him, uh -huh. there will be no magic pill, no yeah. prayer cloth, no oh. healing water oh. that's going to ease the problems yeah. of your past the pains of your presence. Yeah. What happened, happened. Yeah. The pain is real. Yeah. The sickness is real. Yeah. The brokenness is real. Yeah. The divorce is real. Oh, the oh, death oh. is real. Oh, the grief oh, is real. Yeah. The hurt is real. Oh, the loneliness yeah. is real. Yeah. While you're backtracking, yeah. Jesus will still be yeah. missing and the tears mm. will be real. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, will. Yes, but when you get back there, yeah. stay. Yeah. Look for Jesus mm -hmm. through your tear stained eyes. Mm -hmm. Look for him yeah. as your tear ducts well up uh -huh. with the issues of your heart. Yeah. Look for him yeah. as the tears roll down your cheek yeah. and translate your trials and your tribulations. Right. And when you get there, look for him yeah. through your tears. Stained eyes. Yeah. Well, the text says Mary yeah. wept. Yeah. She stooped down and she yeah. looked in the tomb. Yeah. Let me suggest that when you go back, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, rather than stoop down and look in a tomb, uh -huh. kneel down and look up. Yeah. Yeah. Look up at him and pray. You, you might not see him the first time. You, you might not hear him the second time. In fact, a good bit of time might pass before it seems that your prayer is even being heard. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. keep on praying. Yeah. Yeah. Keep on believing. Yeah. And God will answer yeah. your prayer. Yeah. That's what the songwriter was talking about. Yeah. He says, I prayed and I prayed. I prayed all night long. I prayed and I prayed until I found the Lord. I, I cried and I cried. I cried all night long. I, I cried and I cried until I Found the Lord. Yes. Keep on praying. Yes, Keep on believing yes. through tear stained eyes. Uh -huh. Keep on praying yeah. and keep on believing. Yeah. But I learned that if I keep on praying yeah. and keep on believing, yeah. weeping might endure for a night. But God yeah. will come yes, in the morning. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. A bad week. Yeah. And you can't find Jesus in the midst of your struggle. Uh -huh. And in the midst of your pain. Yeah. Just backtrack. Yeah. That's right. Just backtrack. Stand with your last encounter. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. And when you get back to the old landmark, uh -huh. look for him through your tear. Yes. Stay out. Yes. And finally. Purpose in your heart mm -hmm. yes. that you're not going to depend on anybody else that's right. That's right. to get Jesus for you. That's right. yes. Purpose in your mind, I'm going to get Jesus yes. for myself. Yes. Yes. Come on, look at verses 11 through 13, 15. The text says that as she wept, mm -hmm. she bent over mm -hmm. 
to look into the tomb and saw two angels yeah. in white seated where Jesus' body had been. Yeah. One at the head, the other at the foot. They asked the woman, why are you crying? Uh, they have taken my Lord away, she said, and I don't know where they have put him. At this she turned around and she saw Jesus standing there, but she did not realize that it was Jesus. Mm -hmm. Woman, he said, why are you crying? Who yeah. is it yeah. you are looking for? Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Thinking he was the God. Mm -hmm. yeah. She said, sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have put him, uh -huh. and I'll go get him. That's right. Yes. Come on. Yeah, yeah. yeah, when I read this, I, I could hear Mary saying, uh, uh, Reverend, uh, I'm taking responsibility mm -hmm. for getting my Jesus. Right. Mm -hmm. yes. I don't know, I don't care where Peter and John ran off to. Yes. I don't know, I don't care where Matthew and James are. I, I'm not responsible for Andrew, Thomas, nor Bartholomew. Just tell me where you put him on now. and I'll go get him That's for right. myself. That's right. That's right. And as I listen to Mary, Yes. I'm compelled to tell you uh -huh. that you are responsible uh -huh. for your own salvation. Yes. Right. That you got to go and get Jesus for yourself. Uh -huh. You're not going to be able to slide into heaven uh -huh. on the strength of mama's walk. Uh -huh. uh, you're not going to be able to make it to heaven on daddy's testimony. Uh -huh. So you're going to have to go and get Jesus yeah. for yourself. Yeah. You're going to have to open up the word of God and get yeah. Jesus for yourself. Yeah. If you're relying on somebody else right. to get Jesus for you, they might give you the wrong come Jesus. On, come, on, come, on, come, on, come on. If you open up the Bible yeah. and walk yeah. down the Roman road, yeah. you can find him and get him for yourself. Yeah. Go on down Romans 3.23 yeah. where it tells us all have sinned yeah. and come short of the glory of God. Yeah. And walk down Romans 6.23 where he warns us that the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. And go on down Romans 10, 9 through 10, that assures us that you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that he has been risen from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness. And with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Is there any? in here who has confessed yeah. that I am a sinner, yeah. that I am a wretch of yeah. that I'm in need of a master, yeah. that I'm in need of a savior. Yeah. Anybody here who yeah. believes in your heart, yeah. that if I just confess my yeah. Jesus, yeah. if I just confess my yeah. Jesus, yeah. I shall oh. be saved. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. If that's your confession, yeah. Thank you, Lord. And if that's your belief, yes. then guess what? Yes. You already got Jesus. Come on, now. Anybody here got Jesus? Yes. You already got Jesus. Yes. You might have had a rough week. Yes. You might have had a rough month. Yes. You might have had a rough year. Yes. You might have had a rough life. Yes. But you have confessed yes. you yes. as your Lord yes. and your Savior. Yes. You already got Jesus. Yes. And Jesus is not dead. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So much. Yeah. 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 They did beat him. Yeah. Yeah. So they did whip him. Yeah. They did mock him. Yeah. 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 They did nail him. Yeah. Yeah. They did stick a spear in his side. Yeah. They did put a crown of thorns on his head. Yeah. They did crucify him. Yeah. Yeah. And Jesus did die. That's right. They did take him off a cross. Yeah. Yeah. They did put him in a bottle of tree. Yeah. He did lay there. Yeah. All day Friday. Yeah.
a rough week. Come on, yes, that's right. Yes, Lord. That's right. Oh, Jesus. Uh, yes. You're having a rough life. Yeah, Lord. Yes. If it seems Jesus is nowhere to be found. Uh -huh. Yes. Backtrack. Yes. Yeah, Lord. That's Come true. On, that's true. Go back to where you last encountered him. Yes. Take your weight. Yes. Look for him in with tears stained out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Call on him. Yeah. Call on him. Yeah, Jesus. Call on him. That's yes. right. Call him. Ah. Make up in your mind. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. yes. It doesn't matter if the yes. pastor prays for me. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. If the deacons don't pray for me. Come on, come on, come on. If the trustees don't, it don't matter. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's true. That's true. Because I'm going to seek him. That's right. Yes. For myself. For myself. For myself. Yes. yes. Amen. Because yes. I just know if I call him. Yes. Yeah, he's going to answer. Yes, he will. Yes. Oh, definitely yes. going to answer. Yes, Lord. Amen. 